there! Today I'm painting lavender fields and if you're interested in how I created this look, please stay till the end. So I kind of split my painting into two areas. Um, the first part I'm working on um, is the sky, which mm, looking back, I actually really recommend going in with a more pastel, a much more lighter sky, just because the main focus um, are your lavender fields so this will actually make them pop out more but regardless you can be super creative with this you can just do like a simple color wash or you can blend two colors um, I kind of just went in and did like a pink and blue sky and then I added some clouds A good tip is if you want to create some really quick clouds for your sky, which isn't probably going to be the centerpiece for this artwork for example, you can mix um, some blue and a little bit of black and white to create that dark base colour that you see and then you top it off with like just pure acrylic white paint. Hopefully one day I can make an in-depth video on how I um, like to do my clouds. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, for the next part, I used this dark green color to fill in the lanes and then also use it to blot down some of the green bushes in between each lavender kind of bush. Um, just a quick note here, just to make sure the fields that are closer to you have a wider lane. Um, and then I used this pink color for the fields further away from me. And then I'll gradually build that color to be this dark purple as I move closer towards me.
I then go in with black and I quickly just line all the fields like where they start and where they end and I repeat that for all the other lanes. A tip here is to try not to just draw a straight line because these fields are not completely linear so you can see how I kind of go in a little bit whenever I'm going around a lavender bush and as you move further away you can kind of disregard that detail a little bit more because it is more in the distance. I then go back in with dark green just to fill in the lanes. And then I'm going to use the same green to fill in the little bushes in between each of the lavender fields. And I do the same to all the other lanes again. And then now I'm using a stiffer brush just to kind of dab the dark purple all over the fields. Um, and as you can see, that kind of creates this fluffier look that you get from lavender bushes. And again, it's kind of okay if you go out of the lane because that's how the fields look like in real life. They're not exactly or entirely straight. The reason why I kind of make this part really dark is so that um, when we do the highlights, that highlight will really pop out and it will just make your entire work a bit more colourful. So now we're getting into the fun part and we're going to use a lighter purple so what you can do is add white to your original purple colour and just kind of dab in a semicircle motion. I really 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 recommend having a fan brush here but if you don't you can actually create one yourself as well like what I did. I used a, a pin like, like a bobby pin and I put it through the top part of the bristle and then fanned out the bristle part. So you can do that, but I do realize that not everyone has a bobby pin laying around. So you could use um, like a paper clip that could also work. But otherwise you can just use the same brush, um, but you might have to change up your technique a little and you might have to do more like a pulling motion instead of a dabbing. So I do a little bit of that as well, as you can see just right here, just to create the look as if there's like little stems coming out of the bush.
going in again with an even lighter purple color or like a lilac color uh, I'm just gonna go over all the places that I went with previously Okay, so this time I went in again with an even lighter color, but I added a bit of pink this time around. As you can see, because we made our base a really dark purple, dark pink color, you can really see how it's almost creating shadows naturally when you add the highlights, which is a good sign, which saves you time and it's really effortless. Lastly, I used a flat brush and I dabbed white on top of the bushes and of course you can even go over some of the little streaks just to recreate those stems coming out of the bushes. I did some finishing touches by adding a bit of um, that really dark pink here and there just for some color pop and then I went in with a bit of um, dark purple just to further go over some shading area just to make the bushes stand out more. And then finally I added a bit more white to the fields furthest away from me. And there you have it, Lavender Fields, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and hope to see you in the next video.